You probably thinking in your head, I'm over here slamming my head on a keyboard every single day trying to create all these complex apps. And look at these guys, they, they're getting paid already. What's happening with me? It's no secret, the Mer stack is the most popular stack in web development. It's the thing that people recommend, it's the thing that you see YouTubers doing tutorials on, and it's the number one stack that most boot camps actually teach. But there's a problem. Most students were told that if they learn this stack, which is the stack that has the most jobs and also two highest salaries, they will be able to get hired because just knowing the skill guarantees you to have a job. Guess what? That's not true. The thing that really guarantees you to get a job is experience. But how do you get experience when no one is hiring somebody that don't have professional experience? And that's what we're going to get into in this video. We're going to show you guys from a real life example. So yeah, this is Henry guys. So Henry basically came in, started thinking about learning how to code, going through the whole process that everyone goes through, right? Discovery, going through YouTube, tutorials, etc. At some point he decided to sign up for a bootcamp and went on that route. But once he came out, he started realizing, hey man, maybe my portfolio is not good. Maybe I don't have experience. I'm not really getting the callbacks that I should be getting and that was promised to me. So let me try this guy from YouTube, right? That I see here, coding phase. And let me try him out, see what he got. He paid attention to some of the things that we mentioned, right? And he decided to book a call with me. In June, he came in on basically from Friday to Monday, started working on his portfolio, listened to everything that I told him. By the end of two, three weeks, he already have a great portfolio where he could start applying. He already started learning how to code before, so he could skip a lot of things as far as the courses and just go straight to the meat of things, right? On Coding Face, we focus on getting you practical skills. Instead of just teaching you how to code, let's teach you the things that you know you're going to be doing on the job. It's not just click clack all day. What exactly is it that you're going to be doing for businesses, right? So we go in and we teach you that. So again, this is a portfolio, right? He has the right skills, everything that he needs for his first job. Shopify developer, WordPress, Google Analytics, Litmus, uh, ConvertKit, Clavio, uh, MySQL, HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, PHP, Python. That's the go-to things that will help you land your first position. Got a great about section. And then from there has some really good projects that showcases skills. Um, again, that can really help a business. It has a nice store, all custom, pretty good, very consistent. Again, it looks like a real website, not just, hey, I just did a project for someone. No, this looks like a real store that someone will pay you for. Same thing over here when we go into the emails. This is things that companies need you to do. Email development, like it or not. Guess what? We all have to put in the work. He has really good projects. And guess what happened? Within two months, he got hired. So basically he came to me in June, by August he was already working, right? So what's the difference, right? What's the difference of you and what you're doing right now, probably watching this video, maybe you are a new student trying to get into development, right? Web development. Maybe you are somebody who is already a Mernstack developer, you learn all of the skills and now you're like, man, I can't find a job, right? How come this guys get to find a job with stuff that is simple to do and easy to do? You probably think in your head, I'm over here slamming my head on a keyboard every single day trying to create all these complex apps and look at these guys they, they're getting paid already what's happening with me okay we're gonna get into that right now into the timeline okay this is the timeline right this is the average new developer and most likely you're here okay so you have a discovery time you don't even know if this is what you want to do you're looking to youtube tutorials right etc um takes you a couple of uh, months to really get the hang of it and then you say okay let me start getting some online courses maybe you got caught up with a boot camp and guess what you go in now you know the Mern stack you know how to do a netflix clone you know how to do a little react to do app right and you're like okay i'm going to this interviews and i'm applying to jobs but guess what you're not getting no interviews now you're over here it's august you're like two three months later okay what's happening i'm not getting interviews and the people that do give me an interview they basically ghost me they don't answer my emails guess what maybe i made it to the the final stage but they're not calling me back so guess what i guess i didn't get it the job right you're getting frustrated this is the stage that everyone is going through now again it's not your fault right you you did all the right things you did everything that you needed to do to make sure you was going to be able to get a job. Now, a lot of times what happens here while well, people are frustrated, instead of actually pivoting, you know, doing a Euro step and going to the side, 
they double down on the complex uh, applications that they're building. And then not only that, they start paying for even higher tier courses. That's where you see a random dude showing up. Hey man, for a thousand dollars, I can get you into Google. I could get you into Fang. Hey man, for a thousand dollars a month, you could start paying for the, you get what I'm saying? Like you start seeing those Instagram ads, like they know what they're doing. They know <laughs> people are frustrated because this is what's happening to the majority of people. Okay. And yes, guess what? There's going to be some people that do get hired, right? But that's not the average, right? We're not talking about, you know, the average person that's trying to get into a new job. Guess what? That's a dude that is really, really, really good on, on what he does. And sometimes even has years of experience with something completely different. Like sometimes people be like, hey, man, um, you know, I used to be a, a mobile app developer from, you know, 2020 to 2024. And I got a job really quick as a Merge stack developer. You've been coding for years. It's not the same as the same guy who comes in and says, hey, I want to start learning today. That guy cannot be compared to the average person. OK, so that's why you don't get those same results that you see the random dude, the random YouTuber. You don't know their background. Most people on social media don't even share their full story of how they actually got into the game. They literally come in and give you what you want to hear so you could give them views. But again, so let's say maybe at some point you do get a job a year later. Right. So we're talking about you starting 2023. Right. Now you're talking about 2025. And again, this is a, a video that's going to work from now to the future. This shit is not going to change. And it's been working exactly the same way from 2017 that I came into this YouTube channel and I came into social media and I've been talking about this. Right. Stop trying to skip steps. OK. Most of the boot camps, they sell you the dream that you're going to get the top paying job, right? The highest salary, right? And they sell you the dream of that. The average person has to build themselves up. You either want to go in and pay top dollar to then from there not get results, or you just say, you know what? I'm going to actually have to do some work. Yes, you don't need a degree, but guess what? For your first one to two years, you're going to have to put in some work to get to the top salary. Companies are not stupid. They're not giving $150,000, $100,000 and up to anybody just because you know how to do a to-do app. Do you understand that? Let's just be honest. So this is the, the truth of what's happening with the average new developer, right? This is where you see all those comments. Man, the industry is so saturated. Man, this is... Guess what? You're doing it the wrong way. Y'all all studying the same thing. Of course it's saturated in that market. You're doing the same thing as everybody else in the comment section. Guess what? You're going to get the same results as everybody else in the comment sections. Okay? Let's go into Henry timeline. Let's really dig deep into this. Okay? Discovery, right? He started in November 2023, right? Go through YouTube, tutorials, etc. Some point he goes in February to June, goes through a boot camp, learns the Merge stack, right? Guess what? At some point he comes in and says, you know what? This shit is not working for me. Go through June to August, right? From June to August, comes in, learns exactly the skills that he needs, the practical skills to get the job, right? Which is what you should care about and what Henry cared about, which is, guess what? I need my first job. I need to make making, you know, money. Like I learned the skill and I need to get paid for it. Guess what? You know, that range is between 65 to 85 K. That's why I always tell all my students, I don't bullshit you. I don't come in and be like, Hey man, you can make a hundred thousand, 200,000, 300. Nah, man, we're going to start simple. 65 to 85 K. Does that seem reasonable to you? If you're willing to do that, guess what? I can help you out land that position. Okay. We're going to focus on practical skills that businesses are willing to pay for. And it doesn't matter if you have zero experience or you have experience. If you can do the job, you're going to get hired. Okay. Those are the type of skills that we focus on, on coding phase. So again, came through coding phase, got hired August, 2024, right? Got his experience. Guess what? Going through the stages here, right? From now till January, what else are we working on? 
We're working on maybe doing some Shopify theme development, maybe doing some Shopify app development, right? Diving deeper into how to build a solid portfolio as a front end developer and as a full stack developer. By that time, he's going to get offers for his second job, which is going to be either a junior front end developer position, junior full stack developer position. Those roles is the ones that's going to give him that $100,000 that everyone wants. But guess what? If Henry comes in and says, you know what? I'm just going to go in and double down on the same shit that I've been doing and I'm not getting results. Guess what? This might take him another year or even two years. I've seen people in the comment section talking about, hey, man, I've been applying since 2022. Currently right now, if you're not you know, if you're not crazy or you're, you're watching this in the future, we are in 2024. That means people have for two years trying to find their first job, doubling down, going from Prisma, going through, you know, TypeScript, going through whatever YouTuber uh, puts up online of new tutorials or new uh, skills that's happening or new random JavaScript framework. And they just double down on that instead of going in and say, hey, man, I could actually just get a job. My job is as a web developer. I'm not a React developer. I'm a web developer. I can build anything on the web. So let me see where my opportunities is at as a new developer, right? Where there's high demand, but low competition. Very simple. Now, let's talk about this, right? This is a big difference, right? Shout out to Henry. Henry, smart enough to come in and say, you know what? I got to pivot, right? There's a lot of people that don't pivot and they just keep on going on the red until someone decides to give them a chance, okay? The blue moon gets to merge with the moon, and the light hits you, and you're like, ta-da, now you finally get a, a chance. You got to go to the million, you know, uh, events, trying to freaking network and do this and that, sending out, like, bro, you don't have to do all that shit, okay? But again, shout out to Henry for being smart enough to go in and say, hey, early, I got to pivot. If I'm not getting results here in the first month, two months trying to find a job, I'm not going to be here wasting my time, right? So guess what, right? This is something that I've been saying for a long time. This is the difference of someone who comes into coding phase straight without having to do the discovery somewhere else, without having to do a bunch of tutorials, without having to learn a whole bunch of skills, right? That they don't need or qualify to be able to get the job, right? You have this, okay? Coding phase, right? You come to coding phase, and again, you can come to coding phase, or you can just look at my curriculum. If you're like, man, I don't know if I want to go in, just look at my curriculum. Go to my website and check what we have, okay? And what we focus on. It's very simple. That's free, okay? Now, you want me to teach you, to coach you, to help you out? Guess what? We got to pay the light bills. But guess what? Just for free, just go into coding phase. You can look at what we do and what we teach there. Okay. So in here, right, instead of going through discovery, going through YouTube tutorial to YouTube tutorial, what I've seen over the years is when people come directly to coding phase, we focus on those practical skills that's going to help them land that position. Right. So even if you are a Mern stack developer that already started your journey, of course, you can go in and do the same thing that Henry did pivot and we can help you out. But someone that's coming in from zero, this is the, the type of results that we've seen, right? Someone comes in, is interested in this November, right? By February to April, they already hired, okay? Then from there, we go in and we do focus on the Mern stack. We do focus on teaching people full stack development. But guess what? You learn that skill once you already have a job. It doesn't make sense to learn this before this it makes sense to learn this skill while you are already working, okay? Go deeper into the knowledge that you have as a developer as you are needed, right? When you are working, then from there you go in and, and you start diving deeper into this, okay? So guess what? Someone comes in February, April, they get hired, they're working as a content editor, email developer, maybe Shopify developer, right? They come in. By August, they can start applying to other jobs and they also get hired on their second job by this time. Okay. So that junior position, they get it in this amount of time. Okay. Instead of having to go in and wait all the way to the end of the year, you come in and you learn it by August. So you have basically six months of experience, right? Of going through all well, your first job, your first opportunity, getting paid, 
right? And while you're learning, then from there you go into the next stage. Now you're going into the mid-level roles, and now you could actually go in and say, okay, cool. After January 25th, I can now get higher at a role because guess what? You have a year of experience. You have six months of doing your entry level position, six months of doing your junior level position. And guess what? At this point, you start applying for that mid role. Now, does this make sense for everybody here that's watching this? This is not rocket science. I'm not throwing to you guys big words. I'm not making this thing difficult. I'm making it very simple and practical for anyone to understand this. This is how it works. You're trying to skip steps. You're trying to go up here, right? This is where they tell you, hey, this is the money, right? You got to get the money, right? But guess what? Most people that get up here have experience. They have years of experience. The truth is that you don't have experience. This is where you need to start. Now, yes, some people might come up here, right, in the junior front end developer positions, but the average person, they have to start here and build themselves up, okay? When you see some random dude talking about, yeah, I got hired in two months, uh, um, a month ago, you don't know his background. You're starting from scratch, and you're trying to get into this industry, and you're trying to compare yourself with some dude that you literally don't know at what level of skills he has, what background he has from school. Also, too, you have no idea how long he's been doing this. There's people that have been trying to become developers for years at home and doing games and doing random things, right? But they cannot be compared to you because you just started this journey. You start right here and grow, okay? Grow. Now, if you like everything that you saw here in this video and you want to take action, you could literally click on the link below, go to codingphase.com. That will give you a discount. Right now, we're even giving some things, some giveaways. We usually give giveaways and things like that to our students. So check out the link below, right? Again, you can also come in and book a call with me. You still on the edge you're like hey man i don't know if this is gonna work for me this is my situation hey i went to this boot camp hey i'm just starting from scratch whatever it is you can book a call with me it's completely free just go ahead and we can help you out again and i'll sit down personally it's not gonna be some random person it's gonna be me answering the call and basically hopping on that call with you okay take care guys this is your boy joe back at it again codingphase.com